Gloucester, a city older than the Doomsday Book, greets the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. At the park, Mayor Howard Gibson officially receives them on behalf of the city. A guard of honour is formed by the Gloucesters, of whom the Queen was to say, they added luster to their name in Korea. The royal visit is in celebration of the 800th anniversary of the granting of Gloucester's first royal charter by Henry II in 1155. To come here, the royal couple flew from an aerodrome near Sandringham, nearly an hour's flight. The Gloucestershire Royal Hospital is only one of the city's public and industrial centres visited during the Royal Party's all-day tour of the city. Another is the Gloucester Railway Carriage and Wagon Company's works. Gloucester, said the Queen later, is still young and vigorous and retains that skill and imagination which for so long it has used to develop its natural position. An example of the skill of which Her Majesty spoke is a newly completed British Railways carriage. And as usual, the Duke takes a personal interest in the men who do the work. An example of modern design, a subway car built for the Toronto Transit Commission. Thousands line the streets to cheer the Queen and Duke as they make for the Guildhall where a civic reception awaits them. So fervent is the welcome given the Queen that police have to hold back the crowds. Inside the city chambers, the recorder, Mr. Raglan Somerset, makes an address of welcome, in reply to which the Queen said she wished the city every success and good fortune in the years to come. 800 years ago, the city received its first royal charter. Now, a gold paper knife is the symbol of the city's continued loyalty to the crown.